Here's a little teaser for what's to come on today's show. If you think Javante Williams is one of the best kept secrets in the NFL and a rising star at Mile High, hit that thumbs up icon to start today's show. What's going on, everyone? Welcome into the Broncos Breakdown presented to you by Aura, an all-in-one digital safety tool that keeps yourself and your wallet and so much more protected when you are online. Start that free 14-day free trial today at Aura.com slash chat sports. I got that link for everyone in the comments and the description of today's show. Speaking of today's show, here's what we got on tap for the people. Javante Williams and Melvin Gordon, are they a top running back duo? We're going to examine that and kind of break down some of the numbers and figure out where they rank amongst all the top duos across the league. Plus, Russell Wilson and Nathaniel Hackett, the two are just lovebirds. They are jetting off right now and crossing the globe. They're going all over the place, so we're going to find out where they went at the backhand, back uh, second half of today's show. Plus, we're going to be giving shout-outs to wrap the show up for our new subscribers. So if you want to be on a future Broncos breakdown, really simple. Just hit that big red button and subscribe. But now, let's talk about Javante Williams and Melvin Gordon and whether or not they are a top running back duo in the NFL. Last year, neither of them crossed over 1,000 yards, but they both put up very strong numbers, which is why Melvin Gordon is pretty confident going into this season. Here's what he had to say on Good Morning, Amer uh, Good Morning Football. We're going to go crazy, man. We got to go crazy. The young, ball, the young bull got so much talent, and we push each other every day in practice. We even got Mike Boone, who's a good player too. That's going to help us out. That's going to help push us. I'm expecting the run game to be a lot better than it was last year for sure. All right, let's check out some of the top running back duos in the NFL. The obvious one is basically just Jonathan Taylor and Naheem Hines. To me, it's kind of like how Wayne Gretzky had a brother who played in the NHL, and the two of them combined have the most points of any brother duo in the NHL. But Wayne Gretzky did all the heavy lifting. Like, no offense to Hines, but it's basically just Taylor and insert name, and that's a top duo. You've also got Chunt, right? Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt in Cleveland. Then yours truly, Javante Williams and Melvin Gordon. AJ jo or Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon up in the frozen tundra. And Christian McCaffrey and Deontay Foreman, I tossed on there just because I file them under don't forget about these two guys right here because... McCaffrey will come back healthy, and Foreman was a great understudy for Derrick Henry last season in Tennessee. But let's focus in on Melvin Gordon and Javante Williams, because both players had very strong seasons a year ago. Williams in year one, coming up just short of 1,000 yards. Meanwhile, Melvin Gordon, I mean, just father time right now. He has not aged much over the years. For him to be putting up nearly 1,000 yards and eight touchdowns, as he's been in the league for seven, eight years at this point. Pretty good stuff right there. So let's narrow it down to the top four uh, duos, in my opinion. Taylor and Hines, I've got their stats of total yards, their average carries, uh, average rush, rushing yards per carry, and total touchdowns. Like I said, when you have Jonathan Taylor, 1,800 yards alone last season, which led the NFL, and 18 touchdowns, He's going to do a lot of heavy lifting. Now, Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt both battled injuries last season. So just under 2,000 yards, but keep in mind, Hunt didn't even play half a season. Then you've got Jones and Dillon in Green Bay, who look like they're going to be a rising one-two punch. Plus, Melvin Gordon and Javante Williams, 2,350 yards, averaging 4.5 yards per carry, and combining for 17 touchdowns. If I personally had to rank these duos we looked at today, I go Taylor and Hines number one. It's really just Jonathan Taylor. It could be Taylor and me, and we would probably still be number one. Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt number two. I know they had a bit of a down year last year, but it's still Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt. You got to respect it. So I got them my second spot. I have Aaron Jones and A.J. D Dillon coming in at number three, ahead of Javante Williams and Melvin Gordon, mostly because we haven't seen Williams Go for 1,000 yards. Yeah, he's going to do it. I'm not doubting that at all. But we got to at least see it happen first. Plus, not really sure what to expect from Melvin Gordon as he gets up in the age column, 28, 29 years old. And I rounded out with McCaffrey and Foreman. 
again, just to keep an eye on those guys, I think they are kind of a forgotten duo that was formed in free agency this past uh, NFL offseason, this NFL offseason. Now, where would you guys rank Javante Williams and Melvin Gordon? I've got them number four in the NFL. Let me know if you want to go higher, right? One, two, or three, or if you think that's just a little bit too comfy and you want to knock him down a pegastool and you can go towards five, six, whatever it may be, let me know where you would rank that duo. Next up on the show, Russell Wilson and Nathaniel Hackett. They are bonding overseas. This is truly one of the best rom-coms we're going to be seeing all year long. So we'll tell you more about where they jet set it off to and what they were doing in just a moment. But first, Aura is our proud sponsor today. And I want to tell you all about their awesome services, plus a limited time offer for Broncos Country where you can get a 14-day free trial when you go to Aura.com slash chat sports. Links in the comments and the description of today's show. Here's a great feature about Aura. Let's say your credit card gets compromised and some hackster is running up a bill in a hotel you've never been to. Well, Aura's going to let you know immediately so you can get out ahead of it and you don't get a bill in the mail and go, wait a minute. I never w spent five nights in Detroit watching all those pornos. Never happens with Aura. Start your free trial today, Aura.com slash chat sports. Links down below in the comments and the description of today's show. Speaking of today's show, we got more to cover here on the Nathaniel Hackett and Russell Wilson side of things because they're busy. They're busy guys. Uh, they went off to an Ed Sheeran concert in London, in Wembley Stadium. And Russell Wilson, if you've been keeping tabs on him, he's been a very busy traveling beat. He was in Monaco for the Grand Prix the other week or the other month. He comes back to Denver, of course, for OTAs. He's going to Avs playoff games. Shout out to the Avs and the parade they had today, by the way. But yeah, Wilson and Hackett and their two wives joining them for an Ed Sheeran concert in London. And this is what you get when you get Russell Wilson, right? He is more than just a guy who's going to throw the football. He is going to be a part of your team's culture, a part of your team's DNA, and he's going to be a fantastic ambassador for your organization. And he's pairing up with his new head coach, and he's like, hey, let's go, I don't know, fly from Denver to London for a concert, because why not? I've got the PJ. It's fully fueled up. Let's take off, and let's go watch Ed Sheeran. Now, this is not the first time, well, I should say, this could be one of a few runs of quarterbacks and head coaches in year one making a little bit of magic, right? Just last year, Matthew Stafford, Sean McVay, in their first year together, won a Super Bowl. Tom Brady, Bruce Arians, first year, won a Super Bowl. Nick Foles and Doug Peterson, year one, won a Super Bowl. And then, of course, Peyton Manning and Gary Kubiak, their first year together when Kubiak took over from Fox, they would go on to win the Super Bowl. So we could see a run of this maybe three straight years, knock on wood, of quarterback, head coach duo in year one hoisting the Lombardi Trophy. Now, if you haven't seen this bet I've got going, I want to let you guys in on a little secret here because I'm trying to get to 8,500 subscribers. And I saw Will Levis, the Kentucky Wildcats quarterback, say he eats his bananas with the peel which is psychopath stuff, right? But if we reach 8,500 subs, I will do that. I will eat a banana with the peel. Haven't really thought this through. In one bite, producer Jeremy says. In one bite, everyone knows the rules. Oh, boy. There's a lot of jokes we can make about that right now, but we're going to keep it somewhat PG. So make sure you subscribe if that's something you'd want to see or if you just want to get free daily Broncos YouTube content. All right, let's get back on course here with the Nathaniel Hackett and Russell Wilson conversation because there is an interesting um, relationship grow, uh, growing here. And what's more unique is that they're starting from scratch together, right? It's not like, for example, Sean McVay, who was with the Rams for years until Matthew Stafford came over. Instead, both guys hitting the ground running from page zero. And Peyton Manning, if you don't remember, spoke about this a while ago. And here's what he had to say. I think he's off to a fast start in talking to him, referring to Russell Wilson. I do think it's an advantage for Russell to be coming in with a new coaching staff because everybody's learning and Russell is going to know this offense better than anybody. So he's going to be in teaching mode as well. If you're a new player and you're catching up to everybody else in a leadership position, that can be difficult. So I think Russell's at a real advantage where they're learning Coach Hackett's offense together 
figuring out what works and what doesn't work, and I think he's going to be great, obviously, for, young, for our young receivers. Like all Broncos fans, I'm excited to see him get to work this fall. So, exciting stuff when Peyton Manning offers you words of encouragement, and he says, who, by the way, this is a Super Bowl winning quarterback for the Broncos, says, yeah, you're probably off to a better start than I was when I started with the team because you're getting to hit the ground running with your own quarterback, so uh, w w with the quarterback and the head coach in year one. Speaking of Russell Wilson, not sure if you guys saw this, but the NFL released their top 10 selling jerseys of 2022, and look who's number one. In fact, we can even make this a full screen bad boy so you guys can see it nice and pretty because Russell Wilson sits at the top of the throne right in front of Josh Allen, Devontae Adams, Kenny Pickett. That kind of shocked me at number four for Pittsburgh, but Big Ben jerseys are staying in the closet. Tom Brady at five. Mac Jones at six. And then you've got Cooper Cup at seven for the Rams. Justin Herbert for the Chargers at eight. Mahomes comes in at nine for Kansas City. And Joe Burrow for Cincinnati, rounding it out at number 10. This is the Russell Wilson effect, right? This is what happens when you go out and get Russell Wilson. No, sorry, Drew Locke, your jersey was not going to be a high-selling jersey. Or let's just say it was a, a Kirk Cousins trade that Peyton pulled off this offseason. No, this is the beauty of going to get a player like Russell Wilson and everything that it entails, like having the number one selling jersey across all players in the NFL. Now, here's an interesting question I want to ask. What was your first Broncos jersey, right? What was the first one you got, whether it was a present or one you just got out because maybe, for example, you loved playing with this player in Madden? Tim Tebow, Terrell Davis, John Elway, let me know what your first ever Broncos jersey was down below in the comment section. I want to revisit, though, really quickly, that list we just looked at because maybe you noticed something. Russell Wilson looked at the entire AFC West and said, excuse you, hold my beer. Because not only is Russell Wilson number one selling jersey in the entire NFL, but we can look at this list a little closer and go, huh, he's ahead of the highest Raiders selling jersey player in Devontae Adams F at, K F at Las Vegas. Then you've got Herbert coming in at number eight, beats him. Mahomes at nine, beats him. Russell Wilson, not only number one, of course, in the NFL, but number one in the AFC West. So I think we might be seeing a changing of the guard, and everyone's a little over the 15 ketchup and mustard jerseys. Also, who eats, ketchup, who eats steak with the ketchup? But there is Russell Wilson, number one, atop of the league, and, of course, the AFC West. To wrap up today's show, I just want to give some quick shout-outs to some recent subscribers here on the channel. So I appreciate William for joining the show, Ray, WKB, Mo Cheese, Kyle Thomas, Dean Todd, the legend, Ryan Fitzmagic, excuse me, Fitzpatrick, Carlos Gonzalez, Hector Sanchez, and Chris Meek. Thanks to all of you that have subscribed lately, and if you haven't already, make sure you do so. It's one simple button. It's absolutely free, and you're going to get free daily Broncos content plus an opportunity to get on screen. There's no other Broncos YouTube channel that's doing this out there. So make sure you get locked in with the best Broncos news and rumors coverage out there.